Hello, and welcome back to Rick's Kits. Uh, I have a final on my uh, one ninth scale private centre company Coldstream Guards Waterloo 1815. Um, very well sculpted bus, I've got to say. Um, this is from CGS military figures uh, the product number is CR05 Coldstream Guard Waterloo 1815 um, if you want to see what they have in their range of military figures uh, then visit www.cgsmilitaryfigures.co.uk um, in bit of a journey getting here but he is now complete uh, I will change the camera angle for you at some point because he gets because there's so much shiny on it so much silver camera keeps going out of focus so we have a white metal white metal bayonet on the end of the brown bess um, the strap is applied as one piece resin and one uh, cut out of some metal foil which is supplied in the kit. The ramrod which you can see here um, drilled a hole so it goes right the way through his hand and down. Uh, that is also supplied in the kit that comes in the form of a piece of um, narrow gauge wire everything is resin apart from those two pieces um, I had I have oh, excuse me I was going to sneeze in I have added an addition to the water bottle which is the two straps one that side I'll have to drop it and one in there on this side uh, that was made out of plastic card um, I was going to use the metal foil but it felt a little bit thin compared to and get this boy in focus to the sculpt you can see the sculpt of the uh, brown leather strap on the side there of his uh, water bowl so changed it up and made it out of plastic card um, yeah it is a very 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 nice kit must complement um, the sculptor which was Carl Reed on this lots and lots of absolutely fantastic detail it probably isn't the best view but you can get an overall representation of the figure the light in here is atrocious everything looks shiny it's not it's not actually that shiny it's quite flat the one thing i didn't do which was to paint the guards flag uh, badge regimental insignia on the back of his pack i didn't feel that i was uh, capable enough of doing that at this moment in time uh, I'll have to practice a bit more in dealing with that so yeah I thoroughly thoroughly recommend CGS military figures kit if you're interested in uh, the polionics um, first first Napoleonics in this size that I've done 
have done, I think it was a 120th scale for Linden Drummer, uh, which I sold quite a few years ago. Um, well worth the money. Beautiful kit, lovely sculpt, and very, very, very reasonable price indeed. Uh, as far as paints are concerned, um, I've gone with the best colour option I had in my paint range, so some stuff may not look correct. But like I said, I was limited to paint scale, uh, paint range, so I wasn't going to go out of my way to buy additional paints for, uh, for one particular kit. But there he is. There's my one ninth grenadier guard of the centre company. I said grenadier, didn't I? I meant Coldstream Guard. Coldstream Guard centre company in one ninth. A bit out of chat. Don't want to be on the end of that painter, would you? Thanks for watching. Any comments are greatly appreciated. Uh, all my subs are greatly appreciated. Uh, old and new. Welcome aboard. Uh, thanks for staying with me. I do appreciate you guys. I really do. Now I said if you want to take a look at uh, what CGS have to offer in their range, go to www. CGSMilitaryFigures.co.uk uh, I'm not sponsored by the guys but they do have some fantastic sculpts thanks for watching bye for now I'll see you in the next one